Hey guys, we're just giving I'm back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. It's been a while. Um, so bear with me for just a few minutes because this video is going to be big. I'm going to be talking about quite a bit of stuff that has happened over the past week. And if you guys are just very interested to see the gameplay, I'll put a timestamp right now. Um, but just stick around because we got a few things to talk about. So, one. COD Mobile is out. Soft launch. Not a beta. I'm going to repeat. Soft launch. Canada and Australia. Now, what does that mean? I've heard a lot of questions about that. Soft launch basically means that the game is launched. It's out. But only in select countries. It's kind of like an after beta. You know, kind of like you have a party and then an after party. So, it's kind of like an after beta. This is basically like the finished product, just maybe a few finishing touches to some last minute bugs. There are some new bugs. Um, and if you guys ever find bugs, please, please, please send them feedback. I'll leave a link down in the description that sends straight to the devs. Trust me, it works. It really works. And uh, you'll see why in just a little bit. Um, so yeah, it's soft launch. All you gotta do um, to get the game is just have a Canada App Store account uh, or an Australian App Store account. Uh, for Android, I'm not sure how it works. I think you need to download an app called TapTap. Tap. But for iOS, um, if you already have an account, you could just switch the region to Canada or Australia, download it from there, and there you have it. And then you, you will need a VPN. Now, to play on the Canada server, I'll have a few steps down in the description to tell you how to do that. Uh, for the Australia, um, basically the same thing. I always use just UFO, VPN, or Proton in Australia server, but Canada, it's a little bit different. But anyways, sorry. Um, going a bit quick because we just we got a lot to talk about so um, I wanted to talk about here I got a list of some noticed changes um, in this game so this went from version 1.03 to 1.04 and basically you guys are wondering what is what's new what's going on with this soft launch since it's out what's what's new so number one I noticed in-app purchases so you can now buy with real money COD points. Now, with these COD points, they're essentially used for this. That's basically what it's used for, just for weapon skins. And of course, some of these weapon skins have perks, and we'll go into a little bit of that in just a little bit. But yeah, you can buy COD points now. So, with that said, with that said, this is a soft launch. You can now use real money. I'm gonna put it out there for you guys to guess before I say it. There will be no more resets no more resets whatsoever so this is the game like your stats will transfer over to the global launch per se and if you want proof of that i'm in the main menu here there's a little clipboard on top which is kind of like an faq so i'm gonna go here i'm gonna go to stats and progression why are my stats reset prior to the launch of call of duty mobile on july 17 all player stats progression logs from previous betas were reset please note that going forward resets will no longer occur so that's it man i mean it's it would be no point anyways to reset your stats because you're spending real money so they would have to refund everyone that would be spending money so anyways no more resets number two thing i noticed graphical improvements i've noticed this i mean maybe different for other people but i play on an ipad pro 11 inch this game has definitely got graphically better in terms of the models the models um the maps i haven't noticed too much but i've noticed the weapon models, the gun models, like everything just looks a lot sharper, a lot better. Um, it could just be on higher end devices is what they were doing. I mean, I, I'm on the highest setting, um, but they definitely did something. They tweaked something. Um, number three, there are new options in the settings, which is great. They were listening to feedback. So if you go to settings, there's now a fourth option straight off the bat to turn off aim assist. I recommend everyone do that because the aim assist is very strong. It's like a magnet. So if you have two or three enemies all at once, your aim is going to be weird, especially long distances. It's going to be very weird. Just turn it off. It makes it that much better for like complete raw input gameplay. The other thing that they did was if you go to sensitivity, there is now rotation mode. So you can take off, essentially what this is, you can take off aim acceleration. So what that means is essentially... Um, your finger has a fixed speed and by the time like as soon as you swipe it's going to swipe the screen as soon as you stop or lift up your finger that's where your screen is not is going to stop it's not going to accelerate the speed like um if you're moving straight to right it's not going to accelerate it's not going to like keep going it's going to stop exactly where you stop your finger so that is literally what pc players call raw input so if you see that guys in games with pc games raw input that's basically it um 
Number four, rarities for weapons have changed. So they listen to feedback, which is good. So basically, if you go into the store now, you've noticed that the green weapons, the green rarity weapons are just skins. So if you go here, no perk. There is no more perk. What it, what used to happen were the green ones would get only an XP buff, I believe, if I'm correct. I don't think they had a specific kind of like crazy perk. I don't think. So green, no XP, no nothing, just a skin. Blues, or sorry, not the grenade. The grenade has nothing, of course. The blue weapons also don't have an XP buff, or at least not these ones, um, but they do have a perk. Um, so some have changed, I think, in terms of the perk. Some have stayed the same. Um, but Jeff, if you look at like the blue sky, for instance, this one increased movement speed slightly for a little bit. That's the same as that green M4 that's in the battle pass. I gotta say though, this skin looks really, really nice. Um, and then in terms of the higher rarity, like the purple, which you can only get at the moment with COD credits. Um, so you technically, you cannot buy this on real money um, as of yet. So this one purple is stayed about the same. You get um, like a crazy perk as well as it broadcasts it in the kill feed. So it'll show like a purple icon instead of like that blue icon or white icon to some people. Um, so there's that. The number five I've noticed is they made some small level system changes. So if you go to your level, um, I've noticed they might have moved things around like the HD40. I don't remember it being level 45. I remember it being way, way, way later. So they did move some stuff probably a little bit around, uh, but more or less the same. Now, number six is weapon balances. Now, I've kind of noticed little things here and there. I mean, some things I'm probably wrong about. Like, I feel honestly, um, like the MSMC got a tad bit better, but like the recoil type of it, but it's still crazy. It's still there. Like it's, it's really hard to control sometimes. Um, the PDW, I feel like the accuracy with hip fire got worse. Um, but the one thing I know for sure, for sure they buffed for sure is the BY-15 shotgun. You remember the guys, that gameplay I had a while back where it was actual garbage. That shotgun was terrible. Now. It's probably the best shotgun of the game. I mean, it's the only one I've tried since I've got, you know, this game downloaded. Um, the soft launch version. But the BY-15, man, that thing shreds. It's a one-shot kill on most ranges. The, the range is pretty crazy. Like, it's an overall great shotgun. Um, the other thing I've noticed is that, kind of like an extra thing, is that there are still bots. So you're gonna, you guys are going to see in the gameplay, on average, which I'm saying is about like 95, 99% of games, I'd say, is three real players and two bots per team. That, unless of course you're in a party, like a full party or something and you go in. But essentially that's how it is. Um, I remember in the last video they were testing it in certain time zones where they would have, they would open up the server to no bots. So it'd be just real players and it's kind of hard to find a server um, to find a match. And then at a certain time zone in the morning, like they would have bots in there, they would add bots. So. It's very strange. If you play ranked though, which is now open 24-7, if you play ranked, as soon as you get out of the rookie uh, area, which is the three beginning uh, stages, your tiers, as soon as you get out of those, there are no bots, as far as what, as far as I've seen. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it that I've noticed. If you guys um, have noticed anything else, do let me know. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, man, pretty crazy. The game is out. Download it, give it a try. I'm gonna be using the Can the Canada VPN, so I'm gonna be having that nice 60 to 70 ping. So much better than 100 ping. Um, but anyways, without further ado, guys, enjoy the gameplay. All right, so we're in a match playing some Frontline on Crossfire. Unfortunately, Hardpoint is not in the playlist right now, which is very strange. Uh, they didn't even have free-for-all when this game launched, but um, they did put free for all like a few days after, so we'll see. Maybe this week they'll add hard point back. Who knows why they removed it? But uh, let's do it, man. I'm gonna use an HD40, man. I don't think I ever had gameplay of this on my channel before. Oh, this guy's sniping. I don't want to go against that, man. If I can get him, maybe. Nope. All right, let me pull back, dude. Hold on a sec. I have an idea. I'm going to take this thing. I'm going to throw it, and it's going to get me a double kill. Or not. Oh god, they're here! They're here! They're... No! I didn't mean to do that. No! No! I didn't think he'd freaking rush me there, but he did. 
advised. Oh, try this again. Hostile hunter killer drone inbound. Heads up team. Enemy Hostile UAV spotted. hunter killer drone. Peek again, peek again, peek again. Or not. Smart of him not to peek. Oh man, all right. Let's call this in so I know where they are really quick. Thank you, this guy's right here. Doing God knows what, where, where? Oh, this guy's upstairs, I think, hold on. Ready to deploy. Predator missile awaiting orders. UAV recon standing by. Repeat, UAV recon is standing by. I'm just gonna put this right there really quick. There you go. All right. That's that's Predator how you do it, man. Let's see if I get this guy. Nice. UAV online. UAV online. All right. I had a bit of a cell start, gun. but as soon as you get that sentry man in their spawn, it works wonders UAV unless UAV unless they destroy it, which I think they did. Dude. That's that's not happening. No, 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 no. UAV online. Oh my god! Oh, I got a triple with a grenade, dude. I got a triple. My god. That man. Enemy UAV spotted. That man got me with the war machine. Not gonna lie. We just need one more kill, guys. UAV recon standing by. Wait, never mind. Wait, wait, I forgot. Wait, it's it's friendly. Never mind. Oh my god, I'm actually bad. Wow! I'll give him that, man. That was nice. I forgot. We need 10 more kills. It's not TDM. It's fine with me, man. It's fine with me. Be advised. Hostile sentry gun spotted. That's not good. That's not good at all. Alright, sleep. Dude, He's he's got this in the bag. Yeah, look at that. He's doing exactly what I did. Very smart, man. Very smart. Alright. Damn, they actually might be able to do a comeback. Hold on a second. Keep on them. We're winning this one. UAV recon ready for deployment. Alright, I'm pushing up. Hopefully no one's gonna like come behind me or something. There you go. Sentry gun ready for deployment. Nicely done. All right. Well, there you guys have it. I'll just do one game for this video because um, it was a bit of a long intro. But this has kind of been just been kind of just a main video encompassing that this game is out. Soft launch Canada and Australia. Very big. Should come global honestly very soon. My just guess is next day. month. But 35 kill crossfire. There you go. Three people on their team. They're real people. Uh, three as well as ours. So. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one.